Can we find a silver lining amid the COVID-19 pandemic? Today, this pandemic affects almost every person's daily routine. It has surpassed geopolitical boundaries, and it also raised alarm bells not just in the health sector, but also created rippling effects in other sectors. So I guess what I want to know is that from a tech perspective, are there any measures that need to be in place in Hong Kong in the near future? Through this pandemic, we have witnessed the sheer excellence of our basic research, which has pioneered global efforts in understanding this novel coronavirus. In fact, a team of researchers at the University of Hong Kong was actually the first to publish an academic paper that proved the existence of human-to-human -human transmission for COVID-19 in late January. Wow, I don't think a lot of people were aware of that. Yeah, exactly. However, the government has failed to capitalize on our strengths. For example, recently, when a team of researchers from the Polytechnic University of Hong Kong developed a testing kit that was able to test more than 40 pathogens that causes res respiratory diseases like COVID-19, instead, the team had to go to Shenzhen to produce this testing kit after their government expressed support in investing in this project. If, Hong Kong, if the government in Hong Kong is serious about making Hong Kong an innovation powerhouse, then it must do more to support the commercialization of our world-class basic research. I completely agree with you, Melvin. I believe that our government should be funneling resources and arranging funding mechanisms that enable and even fast-track the domestic production of medical supplies. Especially when we are confronted with a crisis that may face disruptions in international supply chains. I also believe the government should consider the potential role of technology in supporting healthcare movements. So then, what's the role of the public healthcare system in this situation? Our public health system currently operates under an overstretched capacity, which can quickly become overwhelmed. Since February, Hospital Authority has announced that they will be you know, substantially reducing non-emergency and essential services so that they can mobilize resources in diverting towards handling the pandemic. Additionally, the government has yet to incorporate mental health considerations in the overall COVID-19 response plan, which means that we lack centralized efforts in the provision of mental health services. Now, there have been some discussions on the resurgence of telemedicine in Hong Kong to provide health care. And, you know, I believe that we could consider the service scope to include, say, minor ailments, uh, acute health conditions, and even primary mental health care. Mm, Melvin, what are your thoughts towards uh, the prospects of telemedicine in Hong Kong? Well, Mara, I believe the COVID-19 pandemic could prove to be a watershed moment for telemedicine, both for the world and for Hong Kong. We have seen an immense surge of adopting telemedicine across many, many countries. For example, JD Health, a Chinese telemedicine provider, have seen its daily consultation volume skyrocketing to 100,000. Wow, that's actually quite impressive. That is very impressive indeed. While the scope of telemedicine is confined to minor ailments and acute conditions, they provide a convenient alternative to in-person consultations for both patients and healthcare providers. Besides, telemedicine can play a transformative role for mental health services as it provides a more accessible form of service for those in need. On top of that, during times of pandemic, telemedicine can actually alleviate the stress on our healthcare system by preventing people from visiting, uh, from visiting hospitals and clinics and also minimizing exposure to the virus. While there are preliminary efforts here to introduce telemedicine, Hong Kong must catch up with the international trend to fully embrace telemedicine. Yes, just writing on your comment, I believe the government should really consider implementing an infrastructure that's not only cost effective and increases accessibility for patients to healthcare services, but also in place they have measures that protect patients from doctor fraud and also ensures you know, patient confidentiality and satisfaction with these telemedicine services. I really hope that you know, this discussion is the first of many that prioritizes policies and mobilizes resources in time so that we can gear our systems to proactively meet demands head on. I do hope that this pandemic could bring out a silver lining for Hong Kong to build a better responsive system. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content.